Welcome to an introduction to AI with Net Documents. We're going to be looking at two main products here that they offer. We've got Pattern Builder and their AI Assistant. We're going to start by looking at Pattern Builder. Pattern Builder is a way to create structured apps, and Net Documents actually offers a few of these apps off the shelf that you can use immediately or tailor for your own workflows. Let's look at a couple of those to start. So in the Net Document Studio, we have things like comparing two different documents, continuing a draft from something that's already in your Microsoft Word, doing a contract risk analysis, preparing for depositions. You can extract specific items out of multiple documents. You can use a playbook to analyze a contract and get a list of issues with it. You can create playbooks using AI you can create prompts for additional apps. You can summarize a document or multiple documents. You can create a support letter. You can timeline based on one document or multiple documents. And you can translate documents. All of these capabilities come really off the shelf and can be tailored to your use and your needs. I want to show you one right away, which is this issues list feature. So if I come into this app, I can grab a document from my net documents. Let's say that I grab you know, an NDA. And what it's going to do is apply a playbook that I already have for NDAs. Like this one here. And it allows me to save that report to Net Documents or see it myself. That issues list is generated automatically by AI. And it's going to give me all the policies that exist inside my playbook to apply. I'll go ahead and let it run those. It's going to return that list of provisions back to me. You can see that was done in real time. So that AI runs very quickly against all of the things in this issues list. And it's pulling out policy by policy and telling me, do I need to make a change? What's the recommendation? And even the suggested text that I can use. This really speeds up the analysis of a contract when we're acting as general counsel, for instance. How did I do this? How did I get the data for the AI to run this so quickly? Well, they offer an app that is called Playbook Generator. And I'll just show you briefly exactly what I did to create my demonstration NDA playbook. If I create a playbook, it's automatically going to configure this based on a set of documents I give it. So I could grab it some of the last NDAs that I created, these finalized agreements, and I can let it crunch out, synthesize all of the different provisions in those documents and create a playbook of, let's say, guidance that's going to help me in the future analyze more contracts that come in. So this was the one that we actually analyzed. Let's grab everything that isn't that. And these are example precedent agreements. And we'll let the AI do its work to extract. I'll just show you then how that playbook was assembled. This is exactly what I did to make the playbook that you saw running for the issues list. Now, once this is done, where is this going to live? Well, just a quick description. Inside the data tables that we have in our admin window, all of the apps are able to access any of these data tables. And so our particular playbook might live inside of this playbook data table. And that's where it's going to be extracted by the app and used by the AI. And so you can see these very same 15 provisions have been located from my documents. And if I were to continue, it would then create that playbook based on what the AI found. This is really nice because I can go back and check I can make edits if I want to in those tables as needed. And that's really this part about data. Where does the data go and how is it stored? Um, it's living inside of net documents. We don't have it living in an AI interface. There's no retention of that data outside because this secure Microsoft partnership means that Microsoft is actually getting rid of any of the data sent to AI. So although we're using AI to let's say create a playbook or do a contract review, the only data that's going to persist is what we choose to save inside of these data tables, which can be run inside of our apps. So that's the structure of the Pattern Builder app format. We also have the option to use a legal AI assistant. And this is like a chat bot that lives inside of your net documents. 
The real keys to this are the accessibility. It's really easy to get documents into it. And then I'll show you some of the extensibility, ways that we can take an entire workflow with a little bit of prompting and make that sing for us. So to fire this up, I just have to open my AI assistant. I can simply drag and drop documents over. And in this case, I might just be doing some review of depositions. I want to preview what the case was about. It might be the first time that I'm looking at this and I'm adding my own insight. What's going to happen in the background while the assistant is processing here is it's going through and it's searching the documents to try to figure out what the case is about. The assistant is able then to extract information out automatically without us having to really explain to it how to do it. And this case, which is a fictional case about a tiger in a zoo, it's actually then constructed this short summary for us. And in addition, it's got references to the documents that it actually searched in real time. And these are peers footnotes in the summary itself. This can get really powerful if we use larger sets of documents because it's not limited in document size. So I can grab this 45 page document, a complaint and summons. And if we're looking at that pleading stage and we wanna know how to make an answer, this can help us by identifying some of those key pieces. The nice thing as well is that once I've asked one question, I don't simply have to stop there. I can go deeper into the document and grab anything that I need because the assistant's able to search time and again to go deeper. And this is nice because you can tailor this experience to really fit what you need. So this case is actually about asbestos. And you'll see that it's listing out without really any direction at all some of the basic preview that I want for this particular complaint. Now, we could go even deeper if we want to and structure this with a little bit of prompting. So if we were to do this again, and for instance, use some kind of more structured prompt, something like this perhaps, What it would allow us to do is get a much more detailed summary according to this prompt that identifies all of the plaintiffs, all of the defendants, and identifies some central issues, some causes of action, and an entire list of all of the facts alleged. So we can tailor this assistant to really fit whatever needs might exist in terms of doing those litigation processes and wanting to have that more interactive experience. So this is really what's offered by the Legal AI Assistant. The comparison then is that Pattern Builder will give you those secure, consistent AI uses, and it offers that suite of studio apps that you can use right away and tailor to your specific workflows. It also allows you to manage and harness your own data. So we can really create a lot of effective stuff to use with AI within that app context. But if you want to be able to access something directly, simply, and deal with documents fast, the AI Assistant is going to give you that same security and give you a file reading chatbot that's living inside of Net Documents that you can tailor yourself to try to help you with your litigation workflows. I hope that helps. Thank you so much for your time.